Hey guys, Josh Eckel here for TechSavages.com, and today I'm going to be showing you a cool iOS 5 feature that uh, hasn't been released yet. It's going to be released in September, but uh, I got the uh, the beta version on my iPad, and I've got the beta version on my Apple TV, and I thought it'd be worth a shot just showing you guys, you know, the neat, you know, implications of this cool feature. So we're going to unlock the iPad and go into. Let me show you here. We're going to go uh, over and click on airplay and go to apple tv when you go to apple tv on the ipad and i'll zoom in you can turn on mirroring which is already on and so as soon as you turn on mirroring it's going to show what you see on your ipad on your tv so there we go and do a uh from what is there we go so we got the uh ipad going like that um i can flip through it's a little delayed and as you see it's kind of slow right now i don't know why it's been you know there we go so you can flip through the iPad and it's going to you know show exactly what you're seeing on on the TV. The only issue is it is a little delayed as you can see. Um and I think the reason that is cuz the beta needs to be have a little fixing going to it. But you know it, it, with a good internet connection, um it should be less than half a second delay. But um one of the neat features is going like say for example I pull up the music app on my iPad. Uh, let me go zoom in here so you can see this. So you've got the music app, and on the music app you can go through all your music. Um, let's see, just go to pull up some music here, and once you start playing it on your iPad, you can it'll play on the TV. So all the audio is going to transfer over just about immediately. So let me show you here. I'm gonna push pause, and it paused. I push play, and it plays. Um, and it's the same with videos. One of the neat things about iOS 5 uh, and the mirroring feature is when you're using YouTube, like, let me show you something here for a minute. Kind of getting a little slow here on me. I think that has more to do with my internet connection than anything. Uh, give it a second. But, you know, you see it's a little bit delayed here. Here we go. We're pulling up a YouTube video, and if I've got it down, it's going to play it in the small box. You see how it's doing on the TV? But if I pull it to full screen, it immediately pulls it to the widescreen view on the TV, and there you go. i got a widescreen shot of this YouTube video. It's going to render and then play. <laughs> what are you doing? And so it's kind of a, a neat feature for sure. Um, definitely something uh, that I'm enjoying. But, you know, if you guys have any more questions, feel free to tweet us at Tech Savages, uh, the Tech Savages on Twitter. And, uh, you know, if you need anything else, uh, you can comment or you can uh, check out our website, techsavages.com. Um, and you can check out my personal website, lordrayhan.com, or my YouTube channel, uh, youtube.com slash lordrayhan. But appreciate it, guys. Um, you know, let me know what you think. Share the video with your friends if you possible. And uh, you guys have a fantastic day.